Hello, how are you? Very well, and it's only the day after my surgery. So we're here at Dr. Wigoda's office, just gonna ask you some questions. Tell me what procedure you had, and again, when did you have it? I had chest reconstruction um, to be a proper man, and uh, I had it yesterday morning with Dr. Wigoda, who's fantastic, and it was a double mastectomy with free nipple graft, I think it was called. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Scotland. And what are you doing here? Uh, I came just for this procedure and okay. it's probably the most wonderful life-changing moment of my life. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the experience. So you came in yesterday, you had the procedure. How did you feel after the procedure last night and how are you feeling today? Um, straight after the procedure, I was talking in the car. Um, I couldn't believe actually that the operation was finished and that they'd done it. Um, that was the first most amazing thing, I almost couldn't believe it. And um, then um, yesterday I took all my medication and um, I have had no pain at all. Um, one side of my chest feels like it has not been operated on at all, feels like nothing, um, that's my right side. The left side feels like I've maybe been hit punched or kicked in karate, I do martial arts. Um, it feels like it could be bruised in some way. It certainly doesn't feel like there's been any scalpels near it or anything like that. Okay, um, and what were you expecting? I was expecting it to be much worse. Um, I really was up and about, walking around really quickly after surgery. Have you tried raising your arms up? Uh, anytime I try raising them a bit, my body tells me not to. Okay. I know how far I can't go and I'm not pushing it on that. The, I'm surrounded by fantastic trans people who've been through the same operation and they're telling me exactly what I can and can't do and I'm sticking to that. I can do a lot of things. I can walk. I can do everything with my legs, so I'm walking around a lot because that's good after surgery to do, um, but I can't lift things easily okay. and that's normal for now. It was only yesterday. So we took your bandages off today, you had a chance to look at everything and tell me what you saw, how do you feel about it? It looked saw? amazing. In the UK we have a, a doll for boys, I had one, called uh, Action Man. And Action Man has a very square pectoral chest and I think it might be like your G.I. Joe and it looks like that. I can't believe it's my chest. So if you knew anyone who needed this type of surgery, what would you tell them? I would tell them good stock to Wagoda without any question. The other strange thing about it is that the recovery in the early stages is way quicker for Dr. Wagoda's patients than for the other two that go to the retreat that I've been in. Uh, we walk around right away, whereas the others are laid up for a few days before they can move. And um, it's been great that uh, I've been able to walk around. That wasn't what I cared about the most, but actually that's made things a lot easier. So you're at the retreat and you saw some of Dr. Bogota's patients and you saw some patients from other surgeons. So that's yes. what you're describing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.